don't think I'm seeing a swing backwards anytime soon. Yeah. Again, because, you know, I'm just trying to imagine where our consumer is going to go next, right? I don't know what role AI will play, but I think as you add stuff like that to our abilities, like if, you know, we're able to use AI to do any kind of prediction of where inventory should be or, or our customers can do that, right? I think it's only going to get better at being smaller for retailers, right. you know? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't have a crystal ball, but I, I think that um, that it will probably stay, you know, there'll be this mix of small, medium, large in the retail space and um, medium, large in food and beverage. I don't know, maybe they'll go to shipping lots of eaches, but then they'd be competing with their customers. I mean, they would be competing with the retailers, right? So I, I don't think that will change mm -hmm. from that perspective. Um, but I, I, I think that that's why flexibility is so important to retailers right now, because they're like, I'm hedging my bets. I think this is going to stick. Not 100% sure, but, you know, I think I'm going to keep these smaller. And, and again, we've, 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 we've talked about micro fulfillment. We've learned a lot, right? And micro fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Volume is key. If you don't have the volume, it just won't be profitable. It won't have an ROI on it. Um, but as we learn those things, I think the next time you try to go do something, you do it with more knowledge. And you know, maybe we're not doing an MFC at every grocery store. We're doing it in a in a regional area, right? And there's enough volume to to allow for that. So I, I that's my thought. I think there won't be a pendulum swing. I think we're just going to get better at doing the things like you know, getting smaller and getting closer to our consumers.